Welcome everyone back to the channel and if you're new here, welcome. This video is going to be the final video in our three part series on how to upload CSV files or Excel spreadsheets into a tkinter GUI using Python. If you haven't watched part one or two yet, I'd highly recommend watching them just so that you'll be up to speed on what we're trying to do here. So where we left off in the previous video is we have an interface build and when we press the update button, we're actually getting the index. You can see here it's printing down in the bottom left corner, the index of the cursor selection. So if you press the zero index in this list box, we're outputting zero into the terminal. What we want to have is when we press the update button, we're actually wanting to grab data from the spreadsheet and output it into this interface. Whatever we click, we want to actually grab the information. So if we click BMW, we want the interface to update with the value from the spreadsheet. So let's add some labels here in, in Python. We're going to say that the brand label is a label. Root is always the first variable. The text is going to equal brand. And we're going to say grid at row equals one, column equals zero. Let me enlarge this editor here. And we're going to say that sticky equals west just so that the labels are pushed far away to the left as possible. And we want to do this for all four values of brand, stock price, country, and date. So we're just going to copy and paste a lot of code here. That's going to be stock price label. That's going to be country label. And the last one's going to be date label. We're going to change the text to stock price, country, and date. We're also going to update the row. And I'm just copying and pasting this code because it's a lot faster than having to manually type out all that information. So let's run this and we can see that we have our interface updated with these brands we just added in. So what we want to do now is actually create some more labels here to the right that actually update with the spreadsheet data. So what we're going to do is create more labels and we're just going to copy and paste what we already have down and we're going to change the name of the labels. We're just going to call it brand label two. All the labels are changed to two. We're going to delete all of the text from the labels we have. And we're going to change the column. All of it's going to be column one. Let's take a look at what we have. It looks like the exact same. That's just because we deleted all of the text in these labels. Last thing we want to do is actually in our geometry management, we need to say brand label two dot grid and paste this on the line below it. And we need to do this with all the labels. The reason being is because if we try to update these, this text dynamically, we're going to run into a lot of problems trying to use inline geometry management. Okay. So we finished copying and pasting all the code down. Let's just run it again, just to make sure we have everything working. And it's just the same as it was before, which is actually what we want. Okay, so how do we actually get those labels to display text on them? And how do we get them to display the correct text? What we're going to do is come back here into our update function. So let's start with brand label two. We're going to say dot config and we're going to update the text to equal the data at the index row and the zeroth column. So what we're doing here is saying change the text on the brand label in this data to the cursor selection because index is cursor selection at the zeroth column. Meaning if we have BMW in the cursor selection, it's going to update the text with the BMW row at the zeroth column, which is going to be BMW. We could just copy and paste this code right on down, change the names, and we're going to change all the columns. So stock price label goes to column one, country label is column two, and date label is column three. So now let's run this and see what we get. We're going to make a selection and we're going to see that when we select Honda, it's actually updating the labels with the data we have in the spreadsheet. And this works all the way down to the junk data we added in video one. So that's going to wrap it up for this video series. Video one taught you how to pull this spreadsheet data into Python. Video two taught you how to add the spreadsheet columns or the brands into this list box. And this video taught you how to actually get these labels to dynamically update based on whatever value you're clicking. I hope these videos were helpful and if you have any suggestions, questions, or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you next time.